everybody, welcome to my summer art studio vlog. I have a lot of exciting projects and exhibitions coming up, so I wanted to take you all along with me along the journey. I've actually been putting together an art exhibit with a few friends of mine. One of my close friends owns an art gallery, so we are putting together a show. This show will be on display for a few months, but we're having an opening party today, so I wanted to take you all with me. I've already hung up some of my original paintings and I also have a few prints there as well. And then right after this gallery show, I'm going to be going camping in the woods for a few days for my birthday. So I'll also take you all with me and show you some clips from that. All right, everybody, let's go. Welcome to the Dreamscape Art Showcase. This show I was a part of exhibits both surreal and psychedelic artists. I set up a display of my originals as well as my prints and handmade merch. My exhibition was displayed for two months and since we had an opening party, I brought some smaller items to set up a table. We also had a late night jam sesh which was pretty fun as well. And now we are on the road, Tony and I and our dog Echo for our birthday celebration. We are going to Trinity County and we're going to a beautiful camping spot that sits right on Ruth Lake, which is a lake that is in Northern California. This trip was just so magical and I have to say if the opportunity ever presents itself to get out there and explore nature, always jump on it. You will be surprised and never disappointed at what you will find out there in the wild. We saw gorgeous sunsets, we swam out in the lake, we made s'mores under the full moon, we harvested wild herbal medicines, and we even camped under thunder and lightning storms. It was just the perfect way to start our summer.
During my camping trip, I brought some art supplies with me, some colored pencils, watercolors, and some paper. And I ended up illustrating this cute fox that's sleeping in a field of poppies. Since this design is quite vibrant and simple and cartoon-like, I thought that it would translate really well as embroidered patches. So I had the idea to have custom patches made for beanies. I thought that it would look really nice on a full black beanie with the contrast of the colored patch. So right now I am illustrating the design digitally in Procreate. So that way I can have custom patches made to put on beanies of this cute little fox illustration. And here is the final design. I really love how this turned out and I'm super excited to see how they look as patches. While I was in the midst of doing some online work, I decided to add a new design to my print on demand apparel shop. I use the apparel shop through Threadless because my customers can really completely customize any of my available designs. They can pick t-shirts in lots of different colors, long sleeves, even sweaters and various types of apparel. So I love the customizable aspects of Threadless. I added the Here With You digital design. This is a recent page from my zine layout that I just created. I really specifically loved this page, um, so I decided to add it to my apparel shop. All right, everybody, so the beanies just arrived and they actually turned out so good. I'm really excited to open these up and show them to you. So here they are. I think they are so cute. Originally, I had asked for the patches to be embroidered all the way through, um, but they reached out to me, the company that made these, and they actually suggested due to the details of my illustration that I go ahead and have printed patches made and then have them embroidered onto the beanies. I decided to follow their advice since they create patches like this all the time and I'm really happy that I did. You can see how great the quality is here of the printed patches on the beanie. I think the colors translate beautifully. It's vibrant, it's detailed. Overall, I'm just really happy with how these, this product turned out. So these beanies are made from acrylic wool. Uh, I chose to do acrylic wool because sometimes regular wool will irritate my skin a little bit and I've heard the same from a lot of different people so I wanted to get something that would be universally cozy for everybody. But look how cute they are you guys! These are perfect for the fall. The fall is coming up soon around the corner so I am super excited to be adding these to my shop. I think it'll be a great addition to all of the artsy apparel that I already have. 
Here is a close-up shot of the patch. You can see this red band here is what attaches the patch to the hat, this big red solid band. And I really like this effect that they did here where you can see the backdrop red of the stars right behind them in this kind of like 3D effect. I think that's really neat and unique. And look at how vibrant these colors pop against the black it's just so lovely so here's a little zoomed out version of the full hat I also found a very complimentary frame to the glowing mushroom painting that I created while I was out camping it's sort of like a modern gothic art deco fancy frame but it pairs really nicely with the artwork uh, so I'll go ahead and show you a closer look at this to take some product shots with my new hats and get those uploaded into my shop. I actually got invited to be a part of an artist vending machine that is going to be in a motel near where I live. So I found out about this vending machine through a friend and I went ahead and contacted the owners and they said they would be happy to display some of my work. So I went ahead and chose two things to display that I thought would translate well in the machine. I will have my deer and skull enamel pins. So this is one of the products that I'm going to be showing. So I'm also going to be putting a couple of my beanies in there. These are the new embroidery beanies that I just created with my little fox and poppy illustration. So I thought these would be a perfect fit in there as well. And I'm going to be putting um, a few of my business cards with my social media information inside. So I've got my pins, I've got my hats, and I'm ready to hit the road. And I'll show you what the vending machine looks like also when I get there. Today I'm packaging an order for my good friend Kaylee. She has been a big supporter of my work and we've actually collaborated on some projects together. She is an herbalist and we worked together on creating some labels and different designs for her up and coming business. She is just a real sweetheart and I just wanted to make this package extra special for her. So shout out to Kaylee. Thank you for being such a gem. I hope you enjoy your art package. So exciting news, I got invited to not go to one, but two parties that my friends are hosting. Um, they are music events and they invited me to bring along some of my art so I could have a small booth set up. 
I've really been wanting to get out there more this summer with some of the art that I've been working on, so I figured this is a perfect opportunity to show everybody some of the things that I've had in the works. So this week I will be getting some of my stuff ready for my art table. I have a few signs to make, a few price sheets, and I'll be finishing up a few products so I can bring them with me. I just recently finished a zine, so it will be a perfect opportunity for me to share that with everybody. But I'm so excited! There's going to be great music, there'll be different DJs, a dance floor. Um, I think it's going to be a really good time. It's been a, lot, a little while since I've been out dancing and seeing some of my friends, so I think this will be a perfect opportunity for me to have a little fun while I'm also showing all of my stuff. So I'm ready to get to work and make some magic happen. everybody it is the morning I am a little sleepy I stayed up kind of late last night I was working on all of these these are going to be the labels for the packaging for the zines that I made and then I have this big box that I'm ready to package up and luckily all of my poly bags for my little books just came in the mail today which is good because I'm actually driving to the city tomorrow for the events that I'm going to. And here is the zine that I made. Um, I didn't film too much of this in my studio vlog this time just because I just put out a video recently that goes through the step-by-step -step process of how I made this from start to finish but I'll just go ahead and give a little flip through here you can see yeah it's about um 
past life experiences and soulmate connections and when you form like those special connections with people when you first meet them. So it's a really sweet little book and I want to um, bring these to the parties with me so I can have them at my booth. So I'm going to be packaging them up today and getting them all sorted. I just ran out to get this two-tiered clothing rack. I haven't had a setup or display for my clothes or for my totes, and so this will be really nice when I go to any events. Um, I have all of my screen printed shirts here, and I just thought this would be a really nice addition to my setup. It's actually really quite easy to assemble and is on wheels. And I just wanted to set it up before I load it up into my car just so I could get a feel for how long it will take me to set up at my booth. This summer, I've really tried to make it a point to get out there with my art and share what I've been working on with other people. For me, creating and creativity is the ultimate form of self-expression. It's a form of meditation for me and freedom. I have always felt called to create art and I end up investing a lot of time and myself into the creative process. And when you have the opportunity to connect with others who really see you and your work and it resonates with them, for me, there's no other feeling quite like it. I would say it's not the sole reason behind why I choose to be an artist, but that connection definitely propels the desire in me to be more creative. So I am jumping right in and putting myself out there this summer and being open to wherever this artsy road takes me. you guys so I just finished loading up my car with all of my art and I'm on my way to the party tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and set up when I get there and see how everything goes
I have to say I had such a an amazing time at those back-to-back parties. It was so much fun showing my art to everybody, seeing some friends, dancing, meeting new people. I just had the best time. And after coming back from the city and being out and about for a few days, I felt like I needed a little bit of introverted time to relax and recharge. So I got into the studio and have been working on this really cute polymer clay incense burner. It also glows in the dark. I added a layer of UV resin to the top and curing it with a UV light. Honestly, I love her. I think she is just so witchy and adorable. And I have to say, I have a soft spot in my heart for functional art. So this year out in California, we had an abundance of rain, and that means we had a lot of apples to harvest at my house. So while I was resting, I decided to do some apple picking and make some apple pies. And update, the apple pies were absolutely delicious, just in case you were wondering. And the best way to end a summer full of art is vending my work at a pool party. This was so much fun. It was a DJ event, so people were dancing on the floor and I got to share all of my goodies that I've been working on with everyone. And it was just the perfect ending to a really lovely summer. Thank you so much for tuning in to my video, for staying until the end, to being there while I'm making this magic happen. I feel like I've really tried to indulge in an artsy way of living this summer and I have to say I had a really great time doing it. So I hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog just as much as I've enjoyed making it. And cheers to all of us for pursuing our dreams. Sometimes things take a while to grow and you have to be patient when you're watering your dreams, but just believe in yourself and watch the magic manifest in your life. Love to you all, be creative, live abundantly, and stay free. Until next time, friends.